we do not want to do a dog and pony show. We're not interested in, in, in attracting 40,000 people because, frankly, we can't accommodate them. Our folks right. are already on the beach. We don't have to sell Panama City Beach. Once again, we're just saying thanks. So it's an old-fashioned, uh, family-friendly, children-safe, uh, low-key, but upscale July 4th celebration, 5 to 10 p.m., short and sweet. It's a hot day. We don't want to welcome people to, uh, to Pier Park at 1 in the afternoon. Frankly, they wouldn't be there. Right. Well, what time, you know, and here's the question everybody asks, what time do the fireworks? Uh, so. I think universally, uh, everybody shoots at 9 straight up, 9 p.m. Uh, we're going to kick off at 5. 5 p.m. We're going to have a couple of bands in the course of the day from 5 to 10. But at 5.15, in a partnership this year for the first time with Tyndall Air Force Base, in a very strong way, we're going to enjoy Tyndall Air Force Base's honor detail, honor guard. We have an airman, Carolyn Chapega, who I've actually been able to enjoy in the past at some of our events because I'm yes. singing our national anthem. She's a, she's a very good vocalist. Last year at the Indian Summer Festival, she sang. Uh, F-15 flyby at 5.15. Um, and I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, thank publicly Dave Jackson and all the people at the DIB, downtown Panama City, for working with us and helping to coordinate that. Dave being ex-Navy, um, uh, certainly works very closely with the Tyndall people, and so he helped to make that happen.